guys what's up so today I'm gonna show you how to have a custom Windows Chrome so if you see like some things like Google Chrome they have this type of thing well not Google Chrome but like some other program you know they have the custom window like Node 360 they have a custom dragging video window or something so yeah I'm gonna show you how to do that in Visual Basics and Visual C it's basically the same procedure but a bit different so first thing what you want to do is you want to go to Google search, search for component factory and click on Krypton toolkit click download so once you download it install it and you're good to go then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open whistle basics which create a new project Windows application and now what we want to do is we want to install this so I already have it but for you you won't have it so let's just delete this so for you uh, you won't have it so you're going to add a tab name it whatever you want or you could put it on a tab that you already have name it Krypton or whatever else you want to name it Right click, click choose items, hit browse, and what you're going to do is go to C colon slash then your program files slash uh, component factory slash Krypton toolkit then hit bin then publish signed pub publisher signed and then find the promote the file called component factory dot dot toolkit dot dll and click open and then click ok and wait as it loads so right now we got the scripting controls and now all we have to do is first what we want to do is we want to make a foam look like a custom foam which is the whole point of this video so what you're going to do is you're going to click show all files which is this button and open the form one designer and over here what we're going to type in is component oops uh... let's find it oh we don't have it yet so let's before we actually oh great so wait I'm not going to change this yet, so let's just keep it to what it was. So first what we're going to do is we're going to drag a Krypton controller so Visual Basics will automatically know we're using this, uh, what you call, this toolkit on a thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to find Krypton Manager, which is you, and then we're going to pick a team, so I'm going to pick Spurkle Blue which is my favorite and now let's we find this so now let's type in component factory dot krypton dot toolkit dot krypton boom and now over here we'll see this cool foam and now you could customize it however you want so uh see all the new settings you have you have like extra text you know what google chrome does they have that google logo well i have a team so it doesn't do that but you could type in extra text on the right so I'll type in whatever and some text on the left and i actually just like to make the background like a almost black so 30 dot 30 dot 30 which is like an almost black color but not completely uh, so yeah you could resize it like anything and this is how you do it in all uh, visual basics and you got this custom foam window which is not like the actual foam window and later which I'm probably gonna show you how to make your own instead of use Krypton's but not yet and also you could do this in visual C same process a little bit different steps so uh, you're going to have to get the Krypton toolkit which is the same process so I'm not going to show you that again but uh, 
you're going to go to references and you want to add the Krypton toolkit to you so right click click add reference and browse through that same location that I showed you in whoops I was just on it so that same location add the Krypton toolkit and click OK bye bye no, in the middle of my video messing me up and then you're going to right click whoops I mean left click uh, this is just great. My computer is freezing like anything. Okay, so quick project. Uh, properties. Click go to the publish tab, and now where we click application files and change this from pre requests to include. Click OK, and now double click on anywhere in the Visual C window, and where it says forms, we're going to change this to. Component factory, same thing, Krypton toolkit, and Krypton foam, and you have it. Change the color, change anything, and yeah. So now you have this cool little custom window, and uh, the reason it was blue is because I didn't drag the Krypton manager and give it a specific theme. So with this scripting manager you could change anything to whatever so I could make it to this I could change it to office professional I guess I just like this and debug it and yeah as it loads uh, yeah you could add uh, custom buttons and all that too uh, you should what you could do is search for Krypton Explorer so the video is here, but over right now, but you know, if you want to hang it, you could leave now if you want, but this is just for a reference. So this is a reference thing, you're going to only use the toolkit tab, and this is all the stuff you could do, uh, make. And also one thing that they don't show you is how to use a Krypton message box, so this is, instead of using a regular message box now that you have this, want to use a Krypton, whoops, Krypton one, so Krypton message box, that's so, and then as usual, type in your message, so, hello, I guess, comma, and then give it the, you know, what, the title, and say, blah, 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 and all that stuff that you really want to give it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to put on a delay or put a semicolon, don't forget that, and debug it, and then when it loads, you'll get a message saying hello. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and maybe later I'll show you something actually useful.